Alrighty, hi, back again with just a very short video on the build tool and how to use it. Uh, generally speaking, you won't have a build tool until after you have placed your supply camp or supply ship and somewhere in those there'll be a rack with the uh, build tool and the town hall hut inside them. In fact, if you do have a build tool before you have your camp or your ship and you try to use it to place them, you'll run into problems there too. So once you have it, uh, the first thing to do is right click on the ground with it anywhere on the ground is fine and you'll have this GUI come up. Um, now in this GUI the left hand button here uh, gives you a type of building so it'll be your town hall which you'll have originally or decorations um, and if for any reason when you go to do this later on in the game and you press this left drop down arrow the only thing you have here is decorations that's because you need to actually craft the hut block for whatever you want to build so for example if you want to build the builder then you actually have to go in and craft the builder's hut before anything will show here so yeah if you only see decorations that's because you've done something a little bit wrong and don't have the hut block that you need. Your middle button will be the style of the thing that you're building so whatever style you choose and the left uh, right hand button sorry is to preview different uh, levels of the uh, building or different variations of the building for example in decorations um, if you go to wall stone there's a different several different types of stone walls so this will be where the variations is for now we'll just go to the stone town hall and show you what all the arrows do here the blue ones are to move it away from you closer to you to the left and to the right and these ones rotate 90 degrees each time this uh, button here in the middle is just to mirror the schematic so you can see it either side and these lift it up off the ground and move it back into the ground. It's always a very good idea to lift the building up until you can see the white bounding box around it so that you can get an idea of where the ground level actually is because some buildings have uh, basements, others are tree houses. So having the uh, entire schematic in front of you is a really good idea. Um, to actually see it better, once you have this all up and you've moved your arrows to move it around, press the escape button and you can walk around and see the preview of the building. And then just right click in the air or anywhere to see it up again. And you can preview it at every level. You can see what it's going to look like when it's completely upgraded or partially upgraded, whichever you prefer. Now, if you were just in survival, these two buttons wouldn't be down here, so I'll talk about those in a minute. But in survival, uh, you would press the check mark when you're ready to, you've got the building where you want it, and that would uh, place the, the hut block down, and then you would be ready to get started with the building. Or you change your mind, you press the X and exit out of the preview. And then when you're ready to do it again, you just set it up where you want, and there you go. So normally this in survival is where you would press the check mark, but in creative you get a couple of other options and these are down here. The, uh, the bottom right hand one will paste the building in at whatever level you want it at, exactly as it would appear if the builder had finished building it. This one here is, um, it pastes it in, but with these placeholder blocks, like these these dark blocks here, which are just placeholder blocks to say this is where the ground is and this will be ground materials. They would actually still be there if you paste it in with that. So if you're in creative and you want to paste it in just as if it was finished, you press this one and voila, you have your building in. So yeah, the build tool is very handy. It's extremely important in your game. I'm just going to paste this in with the uh, placeholder blocks so you can see. So as you can see, rather than dirt or ground grass here, there's the placeholder blocks. Whereas using the other one, it pasted in exactly as if the builder had finished building it. So yeah, that's it with the build tool. Um, I think I covered everything there. I hope I covered everything there. It's super handy to you when I mean, it's necessary to use. And um, it's it's really handy to have the arrows and as I said always try and preview it completely before you place and that's it thanks for watching and hope that was helpful bye